To write the Lewis structure for LiH, lithium hydride, we first need to recognize that we have lithium, a metal, and then hydrogen here, that's a nonmetal. So this is an ionic compound. And in ionic compounds, valence electrons are transferred from the metal to the nonmetal. So we write Li and then H. Lithium, that's in group 1 on the periodic table, and it has one valence electron. Hydrogen is also in group 1. It has one valence electron as well. So we said in an ionic compound, the metal transfers the valence electron to the nonmetal. So the lithium transfers its valence electron to the hydrogen. When it does that, it lost an electron. And electrons, they're negative. So it lost a negative charge, and it has a positive charge now. The hydrogen gained the electron. Electrons are negative, so now the hydrogen has a negative charge. Note that hydrogen only needs two valence electrons to have a full outer shell or highest energy level. We should put brackets around the hydrogen to show that it's an ion. And you'll often see brackets around the positive ion as well. We need these brackets here to show that these two electrons belong to the hydrogen, that the lithium transferred its valence electron to the hydrogen, that they're not being shared like in a covalent compound. We should also note that this is what's called a formula unit. When we have an ionic compound, like LiH, it's made up of a repeating array of these formula units, called a crystal. But this is useful to understand how the lithium transferred a valence electron to the hydrogen. This is Dr. B with the Lewis structure for LiH, lithium hydride, and thanks for watching.